Hello everyone, welcome back to CS Psycho. In today's tutorial, we'll be diving into the world of Java GUI programming and creating a simple login page using Eclipse and Window Builder. So grab your coffee and let's get started. First of all, open your Eclipse ID and create a new Maven project. Here I am going to check the first checkbox which will simply create a simple Maven project for me. After checking click on next and give your group id and artifact id. Let's name both group id and artifact id as hibernate login and click on finish which will simply create a hibernate project and the project file name is hibernate underscore login. We are now going to create a new JFrame form here. On that frame only we will create the login panel. For creating a JFrame form click on src java main and create a new JFrame form from window builder. Here you can see swing designer in inside swing designer you can select a JFrame form. So here you can name the class of JFrame form. You just need to mention some name here. That's it. Our new JFrame form is created. And on the bottom of this frame there is a design option we should click on that design option which will create a new gui editor that is actually the window builder so here we are going to drag and drop many of the items which are given by the swing such as uh, the input box or the j panel kind of things so we, sh we can create the gui application according to our needs here i personally prefer group layout so that we can drag and drop the J panel here and enlarge it as we want. Like whatever the number of pixels we need, we can just drag and drop here and which will be uh, which will be a responsive design, which will create a responsive design so that uh, this design can adapt to any screen which have my, uh, any number of pixels. From here there is nothing but you can create whatever you want this or yeah, anyway this everything depends on your idea your creativity. I am just going to demonstrate a basic uh, window builder uh, GUI so that you can make it later and create according to your needs and your creative mindset. Here I am dragging and dropping two J panels. So left side will be a blank a background with a home icon or whatever the image we need which will add the which we will add the image later with the J label and right side, right side we will name the application under that it will be input there will be input box password box and one button to click on login. For changing the color of the J panel on the left side, we need to click on that background icon and change the color from there. Always make sure make the J panel as a group layout so you can drag and drop everything freely. So we are all set with the background. Now we are going to create a, in a label which will be nothing but we will place our title of the login page here from the right side you can drag and drop the j label from swing designer and place it wherever you need here let's set it as 44 and let's select some font from here Select any of the font from here and click OK to apply. Next thing we need to do is to change the default text in this label. For that here you can edit 
the text from here and let's change it as yt forecast and arrange this label properly let's make the font as bold so it will be looking good in the ui also i don't like the old font so let's change to some other new font which will look better On the top right of the label, you can find two arrows and set these arrows to auto resizable. You should change both of the arrows to auto resizable so that it will adapt to any other big or small display or screen. So we are all set with the label. Now the next thing is to drag and drop the input box from the right side of the swing designer to the right side of the J frame form and set some default text there not only the label you can also set the placeholder of this input box to any font size or any font type of font let's make this input box also as auto resizable next we should copy and paste this again so that we can use it as password or you can find another password input box from the right side of the swing panel swing palette change the second input box text to password okay we are all set with the username and password input box next thing we should drag and drop a j button here and make it the same size as the input box so it will look better always be sure that you set every elements to auto resizable so that later you will find the change on different displays now let's make the text of this button as login Similarly, you can change the font type and font size of this J button. You can also change the background color of the J button. But if you change here, it won't be visible here. But when you run or execute this J frame form, then you, you will find the change. Now let's check the preview of this GUI application by click on this button. As you can see that by this method you can obtain a preview of this JFrame form but as we noticed it is not in full screen or the J panels are not displaying as the full screen. This is because we forgot to resize the J panel to auto resizing. For that click on this arrow and make it as auto resizable. Also, the right panel, make it as auto-resizable. 
and now let's try with the preview and let's try it as my full screen yeah here you can see it is flexible now it is responsive now the next thing we are going to do is to add a image on the left side for adding a image you should paste a label or drag and drop a label to the left side and make it as auto resizable and let it be plain label which means nothing should be inside like text or anything should not be inside if it is if something is inside also there is no problem but let it be nothing for adding a image in j label click on icon and browse for a photo or an image which will be J which will be with an extension of JP JPEG or PNG or anything else. Here you can see the image is way larger than the label. So we are going to resize the image to a particular size. For that add this simple piece of code in your existing code. that's it we should remove the old line instead we will paste these two lines okay now save this and let's see on the front side nothing is visible it is because the image package is not installed right click and click on import package now it will import the image package here and you can see the image here which I resized according to the pixel as you notice there are there were two parameters passed which is width and length of this image and I had given according to my needs so you can change according to your needs or uh, depends on the size of the image which you need here I just needed this much only that's why I passed that parameter with particular pixel let's add one more label so that it will looks good I will add our channel name here so that it will looks fine I am repeating don't forget to do this auto resizing task in every element of your UI and there you have it a simple login page in Java using Eclipse and Window Builder. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Feel free to experiment and more features and customize it to fit your needs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. That's it for part 1. In the second part, we will take it a step further by adding default text as a placeholder in the username and password input boxes. Stay tuned for more exciting enhancements in our next video.